Real quick before we get started, the wildacademy.com website is currently under construction, but if you go to wildacademy.co, you can actually sign up for a free basic membership for life. Now this is going to be normally $29 a month, so by signing up right down here, free member sign up, you will have a membership for life. I don't know how long I'm gonna have this up, but I'll put a link down at the bottom below. I want everybody who is currently watching these tutorials on YouTube to make sure that they continue getting everything from Wild Academy for free. So go ahead and check out that link, and now we will go back to the tutorial. Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy, and welcome to day 1.1, and I am actually coming to you from the future. We're actually currently on day 31, but the reason I have put this in here is because we are now using the Komodo IDE, which is way better than the Komodo editor, because instead of having to now drag and drop our files into the command prompt, we are actually able to run our files straight within Komodo IDE. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. So now that I have the Komodo IDE open, what I wanna do is make sure that I have my left pane right here, show hide left pane, and I wanna have my bottom open right here. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna run our program. Instead of dragging our files, we're gonna run our program right within the Komodo IDE. And this is why the Komodo IDE is so much better than the editor and why we're gonna be using it from here on out. I opened up a program that we wrote earlier, or well, we wrote it earlier, but if you're coming from day one, this is one that we're going to write. And this basically finds the prime numbers that are in between two numbers that we set. So if I go ahead and run this right here, you'll see that a debug output came up down here. So this is what it runs. It says, give me two numbers, and I will tell you all the numbers between them that are prime. So if I were to write 15 right here, excellent, and what is your ending number? Then I can write 200 right here, right down here, and hit enter, and then it puts it out all right here. Prime number there be 83, 97. So this makes it a lot easier. Now I'm not gonna redo days two, three, four, five, but if you're using the IDE, all you need to do is just when I'm dragging files into the command prompt, just go ahead right up to here and hit debug. All right, so if I start a session, let's say that I hit debug here, and currently you can, say, you can see that it says debugger is running. I can actually stop in the middle of it by just hitting stop debugging right here. This is basically if you kind of get like a runaway of just text, a text wall essentially going forever, you can just hit stop. And I will do 10, and then if I were to do, I don't know what number, god awful number that is, hit enter, see how it's going, I can just stop it right there so that it's not running forever. The other thing that wasn't included, and you guys are gonna love this, because this wasn't included in the or earlier tutorials. So if you're coming here from day one, you're gonna love the fact that this exists, because it's gonna make uh, saving your files and up and loading your files a million times easier. We can ha we have this file explorer right here, so we can just go to our Ruby Day, uh, Ruby Day file explorer, and then we have all of our .rbs right here. So if I wanted to click now, right now, you probably don't have a lot if you're coming from day one again. But what we can do is we can just double click that and it opens up each individual file and it puts the tabs right here at the top for us. And real quick for those coming from day one, these are all files that we are going to write along this path, this journey that we're taking into Ruby. So yes, you are going to start collecting these and you are going to learn a lot. Just be prepared, okay? All right, so full disclosure, Active State, the maker of Komodo, is now sponsoring my channel. And what's really great about this is that I was already using their products. So I'm totally fine with letting you guys know that, uh, yes, they are. And every time that uh, you guys go and download the Komodo IDE, they, threw, they throw a few shekels my way. Oh, and one more bonus if you want to be super pro. Uh, I talked with the development team at Komodo, and this menu bar right here is not going to be in the next version of Komodo IDE. So if you want to join us in the future, what you can do is right-click up here, and you can just do uncheck show menu bar, and it'll go away. And if you go over here to the right, the menu bar is just right there, and you have everything that you need. All right, cool. Have a good one, guys.